Photoshop CS6 makes it easy to filter the layers in our Layers panel. What we mean by filter is that it's now possible to view only the layers we want to see based on specific criteria. If we go to the top of the Layers panel, you'll see that we have a pop-up menu. And within this, we have six different types of options that can filter our layers out so that we can see only the ones that apply. By default, we have the Kind option, which refers to Layer Type. And in this mode, we have five icons, which represent five different types of layers that we can filter by. So if I click the Shape Layer icon, only shape layers will be visible in the Layers panel. We can also combine other types of layers in this filtering. So if I click the Pixel Layer button, the Layers panel will display both pixel-based layers and vector shape layers. To turn those options off, you can click either button or you can temporarily click the red button to disable all filtering. I'll go ahead and undo those two options. Next we have the name filter, and the way this works is that as you type a letter or word, Photoshop will automatically filter out any layers whose names don't contain that letter or those words. Next we have the effect option, and these refer to layer effects. So right now we have the outer glow option selected, and only these two layers contain that type of glow. And we can see it if we pop open the little effects menus, at the bottom of each stack, we have the outer glow effect. We also have other effects available here. And as it happens, we'll talk about all of these throughout the training. But if I choose bevel and emboss, for example, we can add another layer to this stack. We also have a mode option, which refers to the blend mode of the layers. In this case, I set it up to display only layers that have the screen blend mode applied. We have the attribute option, which allows us to basically filter layers out by different kinds of criteria, such as whether the layer contains a mask, effects, or whether it's locked or has advanced blending. Finally, we have the color option, and this refers to the ability in Photoshop CS6, if we right click on a layer, to apply a label just as we would do in the Mac OS X Finder or in the Windows 7 Explorer. So in this case, I've chosen to display only the layers that contain a blue label. So hopefully you can see by using these types of filters, as you start to work with more and more complex documents that have dozens and even hundreds of layers, this type of option is really important when you need to make sure that everything is set up properly for specific types of layers.